Welcome back to another day our survival online. So now we are finally here in the city of Twer. So let's talk to our good old friend Sweatlana in the survivor base. So I think go to the infirmary. When I knocked on Sweatlana's door, it didn't open immediately. A young girl was sitting on the little couch in the office. When she saw me, she became embarrassed. Thanks, Svetlana, for something and ran out. Svetlana laughed and winked at me. Silly girl. So what's new? Hello again, Svetlana. No need to be so formal. After all, we're like old friends now, aren't we? Yes, right. The thing is, um, why was that girl so scared of me? Svetlana started laughing again. She was in a very good mood. Pay no attention. She's just out of sorts. It's her first. Her first what? You know, her first. You haven't worked it out? She's pregnant. Oh, so that's it? This isn't just a joy for her. It's a joyous occasion for all of us. We survived an epidemic and a nuclear war. Then we spent years fighting against starvation. But there is an enemy even worse than hunger, and that's hopelessness. And do you know what? Today that enemy hasn't won. The first baby in God's know how long. It means we have a future. Yes, I agree. All right, I can see that you've got something to tell me. Let's get it to it. Do you learn something about something we discussed? Watching Spitlana focus. But happy face, I faltered, not knowing how to begin. I mumbled something unintelligible. My voice was suddenly hoarse. Svetlana handed me a glass of water. I swallowed it in one gulp and made up my mind. All right, let's tell her everything. When I finished, I noticed that Svetlana was staring blankly at the wall behind me. I expected some kind of reaction, but not this. I moved my head, trying to draw her attention. But she didn't respond. A tense silence followed. Svetlana. Svetlana turned toward me. Her eyes were completely indifferent, but her hands were shaking. And why are you telling me all this? What do you mean, why? You, what? Wait, what? You're the one who wanted to know the truth. Yes, the truth. But... What you're telling me now is a disgusting lie from start to finish. I don't know how, I don't know who's behind this, but I hope it isn't true, isn't you, but I don't intend to listen to it anymore. Svetlana, listen. I remember that your mother wrote to you about your father's heart attack, but maybe she didn't tell, she didn't want you to. Leave, please. I have work to do. Your father... Svetlana suddenly grabbed the front of my shirt. I jerked back. Enough! Don't say a word about my father. He was a wonderful person. He loved me. He loved my mother. He loved his country. He died of a heart attack. Got it? My mother wrote to me. A heart attack. You hear? A heart attack. Svetlana loosened her grip and began to sob. Bitter, wretched sobs that made me ache deep in my chest. She was crying and... Like an idiot, I just watched her, not knowing what to say. At one point, I even started sil silently berating myself that I hadn't come up with a convincing lie instead of killing Svetlana with the truth. Svetlana calmed down a little after a while. She wiped her nose with a handkerchief and sat on the couch. I made to sit down behind her, beside her, but she held her hand up, asking me not to. I nodded and went toward the door. Svetlana had to rethink a little, a lot of things now, and I couldn't help her with any of it. Thank you for uncovering the truth. I'm sorry for yelling at you. You're not at fault here. What you said, it's my pain and my problem. Mine alone. Thank you again. And goodbye. Goodbye. Leave and quietly close the door behind you. 
Ooh, look at that. We got some good old gas and machine oil. Sulfuric acid. Ten cements. Oh my goodness, I don't think I can carry all that yet. Dear Lord. That's a lot of items. Okay, let's go back to the infirmary. Maybe she... The door to Spetlana room is shut. But it sounds like she's in. I could not, but... I think that she just wants to be alone for now. Alright, I think we are done with this quest. So let's leave. And where do we go? We're not... Oh, we could have gotten the... <gasps> we couldn't got the photo album what oh my god oh man all right it was it must be unbearable to realize that the man who gave you life is a traitor but i knew that Svetlana was a strong woman she would cope with her pain learn to live with it i felt so sorry for her but i couldn't do anything to help i felt the building I left the building and looked up at the sky. It was cold and covered in ash-gray clouds. My thoughts turned to a distant past, which was hidden by the same dull, lifeless veil. Goliath and Sasha, I still don't know where to look for you, for them. But it's not important. I'll find them no matter what, even if I have to spend the rest of my life, my days searching. I'll start in Moscow. All right, am I going to Moscow? Is is that the deal? Again? Hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. All right. First of all, let's get all our stuff and uh, let's go to Moscow. All right, guys. Well, I gather up all my things. I think I am going to Moscow now because there's nothing in here. I search everything in here already. So we're going to go to Moscow because of the last thing we said. I'll start in Moscow. And also, I kind of want to um, go down here to the Red Star area because that's where we can do some crafting, right? We have um, are able to perhaps craft these items that I've been wanting to have because we do have the furnace that we did the quest for that one guy so let's just go down and see what we can um get in here let's see all these are just wood yeah these are just cities that i've, I've already looted so let's see here nothing special huh nothing special well how far is moscow All right, let's go to the survivor base. Safe haven. There's nothing here, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, you are resting. Come on, baby. Get me some something happening here. Some. Moscow already looted everything already, so there's nothing special in here. That I know. Right? Yeah, there's nothing here that I need. Well, you know what? I'm thinking of actually going down there. Because we're already close to the furnace. Somewhere around here. Down here somewhere. So let's do that. Let's go further down. I kind of want to search this. We didn't search for this. Oh, the broken MI8. I think we can fix that later on in one of the quests. Yeah, let's go down to the furnace. Oh no, I'm on water. Oh, hopefully I'm not wasting a lot of, uh, a lot of gasoline here. But here, I've literally, I literally looted everything around here. Wow. Okay, what about here? 
Did I leave anything? I left a motorcycle. I can use that later on. I don't have to build another motorcycle. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah. All right. Well, let's go to the furnace. Still working on the forge. Heck yeah, we can actually build all of these items that I've been wanting to, especially the crowbar. All we need are some scraps. So, how about if I dump a lot of things here, gather some supplies in the city, and then we can make some crowbar. Let's do that. All right, well, let's go inside the city to get some scraps because I am waiting to get all of these crowbars and saw hacksaw and everything. Come on, baby. Give me something good here. Wait, did I bring anything good? Actually, I should have brought a saw, huh? Can I bring a saw, actually? Let's go back here. Uh, wait. Oh, it's in here. Let's get the saw so I can probably saw, like, a car. And then I can basically don't have to come back and forth for scraps. Alright, where can it be? There's a car right here. No? Did I search all the scraps? There we go. There we go, baby. Come on, 9,000. Wow. Alright, well this is going to take me a while. Back and forth, back and forth. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I am back at the, um, at the furnace. At Ignat's furnace, that's right. So I got myself 45k of scraps. Because I got to carry it a lot. So let's see, let's see. I actually want to see how it's done. So first, let's unlock this. There we go. Wheat wood. For real? Really? Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Alright, I, I, <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to chop some wood here. Alright, and let's use that for a little bit. So I can uh, carry a lot of wood. So, let's go here. Chop some wood. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, I got 224 firewood. So hopefully that's a little bit better. That's enough, that's enough I think. Alright, let's make it. I can't wait to make the tools. You know what, but I do want to make some crowbar. Let's make some crowbar. Let's see how it's done. Booyah, I made my first crowbar. Let's make our first uh, toolkit. There we go. I kind of wish the wind is picking up and dark clouds. No, no, no. That doesn't affect us anything at all. All right. I kind of wish we can make, they can ask us to make like a hundred of it instead of just making one at a time. That sucks. Oh, no, no, no. We can. We can make a lot of it. Never mind. Um, let's make our first hacksaw is it possible to make a, a hacksaw where is it at I can't make a hacksaw for real really no not here not here yeah I don't think I can what okay that's weird yeah, that is weird. All right, all right. All right, um, I guess I'm gonna make my first iron pot. And now I'm gonna make my first hand mill. We're probably gonna need that later on because I do have a lot of um, grains. There we go. And that's probably all that I need. I'm probably gonna make some more. About a lot of tools for sure. I do need a lot of glue though. Let's just make this much. Alright, well that should be enough. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey. Um, we just finished talking to Svetlana. I don't know what's coming up next. Maybe I'll just go to sleep. And uh... 
don't forget to uh, like, subscribe if you haven't, or comment, because I love talking to you guys. So, I'll see you guys next time on our next adventure of Day R Survival Online.